Hey everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel, Andrea's Attic. Uh, this is a channel for over 13s. It is for adults. Um, primarily we focus on adult colouring. Um, and I'm here today to share with you my completed pages for November and my whips. So I'm going to start with my whips. There's only, there's only three that I've been working on this month. I have got more than that, but these are the ones I've been doing this month. So the first one is the one we've been doing if I can find it because I haven't got the page, in our, our colour and catch-ups. This may have a bit more done on it by the time you see this video. It may even be finished, you never know. I don't think it will be, but I might have done a bit more. I will try and finish this in December off camera. I've enjoyed doing this one. We've been using the um, WH Smith watercolours on this picture and I really like the way it's turning out. So there's that one. The second one I've been doing is I've been doing a bit more in Henry's Bookshop. Um, so if you look, as you can see, the only thing that needs to be done now are the books. Uh, but there's so many of them and I get bored. So every now and again I'm pulling this book out and I am just colouring in ten or so books. I'll pick out a, a, a gel pen and I'll colour, go around and colour a load of the books in. So. If I do that every night, it won't take long. I'll try and finish that as well by the end of December, even though I'm primaris, primarily focusing on Christmas pictures in December. Now, a Christmas picture I started but haven't finished is this one. So this is some Christmas baubles. I actually downloaded this off of the Crayola website. Um, so I typed in free uh, Christmas colouring pages and this came up. Um, there are 48 colouring pages for Christmas on the Crayola site. I downloaded and printed two. Um, you'll see the other one because the other one I have actually just completed it and I'll talk about it when we get to it. Um, so that's this one. So I remember these from when I was a kid having them on the tree and how they went so I'm doing how I remember them so it'll be silver in here and then probably be um, white or, sil or silver on, on the outside as well. So this is going to be all glitter gel pens and gel pens in general. So there's that one onto the completed pages. Let me just have a quick sip. I really like this book. I've done quite a few in this one. Um, so I did uh, this one. I'm doing these in order. I think I've done another three. Yeah, I've done three already. So this is the fourth one. Again, this was just done with gel pens. So I'll take out my markers as I go. So I like that. Four Friends by Deborah Muller. I enjoyed doing this one. I did this one at night when I was in bed and couldn't sleep. And I did this one. And I did this one using my Touch 5 markers. Now, unfortunately, some of them have run out. So I need to get some more alcohol markers. Um, but I really like this one. So, And I, I think I do... I hardly use the markers and now I'm using them again. I'm really enjoying it, just laying it down and going for it. I know I could go over it with pencil. Um, but when I just want a straight colour, I, I, I don't. <laughs> and at least there's a skin tone in that one. Very pale one, but it is in there. So that one, I enjoyed that one. I did another one in 100 Magical Patterns by Jade Summer. Again, this is something I just do in the evening when I don't really want to do too much. And I'm just, I've just got to find it. Here it is. Sitting around. Again, this was just done. I think this was done with Creole Super Tips. Yeah, this was done before Jennifer nicked my 24 pack of Crayola, Crayola Super Tips. Um, now I have the 100, obviously. So yeah, I just, I don't plan the colours, I just go in and colour whatever I feel like. I, I'm thinking I might do a mandala pattern or one of these patterns using all blues or all the greens. Now I've got the, the big set and just see how it comes out. So there's that one. I wanted to do, again, something sim simple. So I got the Jade Summer Unicorn Colouring Book. I did the cover picture which is why there's no marker in it and that one again this was done using the touch five markers and two of the pens ran out when I was doing it well one of them definitely did and I started doing the skin the, the body of the with this sort of like light mauve color and it ran out and I went to this pink one for a change so <laughs> but I still enjoyed it and it was fun and I did put some wink of Stella on the, the horn I don't know if you can see it but I did so there's that one in my I'm going to colour in every single colour in heaven, I've got gunge all over my books. I think it's where it's been sitting on where Jennifer's had food. That'll learn me to wipe it up properly. Oh dear. 
trying to colour in all of my Colour in Heaven books. Um, I've got three to do this month because I've got three of the, um, the Christmas ones to, to do oh, in December. So this was the Nouveau Fantasy Special and this one's on my Instagram. I did the Green Man because I love the Green Man. So this was done with polychromos. I didn't want it to burnish in. I wanted it to be very light and very natural and some gel pens. There's a, um, a green metallic gel pen and a gold metallic gel pen on there as well but I really like that I enjoyed doing that and, and that only took me a couple of sessions I think I did some leaves one night a few more leaves another night and then the rest of it I did it in one go so it's that one then this book make time for yourself mindful colouring that I picked up in the supermarket sorry there's gunge all over the back cover of it that. Um, as you see, a bit there, and it, I think it was six ninety nine. Yeah, six ninety nine. But there's lots of different pictures in it, and it is all one sided. I did this with the fine liners, and I did this one, and I did it in blue, green, red, and yellow. And I, I, that took about two, two, two sessions, maybe three sessions. I was doing it in bits. So if Jennifer went off and did something on her own, so you go off and play, I'd get the pen out and do a little bit until she realised I was doing something without her and then she'd stop and come over and I'd have to stop because <laughs> otherwise she'd just grab a book and scribbles over it but I like this book, it's really nice, there's some good pictures in it so I enjoyed that one did quite a lot this month Colour It, A Colourful Christmas I'll just zoom out, I love this book I love the Colour It books, I've only got two of them because they are quite expensive, like £20 to get from um, America um, and I only did the title page which I've done, I've actually left that bit blank so I've actually missed a bit on there um, but that was on my gel pen, so it is complete as far as I'm concerned. I might go in and just colour that bit in because I've just realised I haven't done it. I thought I had finished it. But yeah, I'll just go in and finish that. But it's finished. And then I've got another Jade Summer one here. This is the Christmas Patterns. This came out this year and I've done two in this already. And I did this with glitter gel pens and gel pens in general. So the first one I did was the cover one, which is the this snowman and I've got it's supposed to be clear in Castella but it actually looks kind of silver but yeah doesn't matter it looks nice it's all very glittery there are some non glittery bits so for instance I think the flowers are not glittery and then I did this one and again it's all glittery apart from the, the tree and there's some metallics in it but most of it's um, glitter so I did those two. I like this. Again, it's very, very gel pen orientated, this one. And I put Wink Stella over the snow as well. Okay, and then the last thing I coloured was another one of those ones I downloaded from the Crayola site. And it was just, just something to do. And I just sat and did it in one go when Jennifer was asleep the other day. And it's just this little picture of Santa's elves getting the toys into the sack. And there's Santa up there and... It's very grey out. It is night time, but I did it sort of like very grey night. Um, you can't really see the colour there, actually. Yeah. So that was just done with the Crayola Super Tips as something to do very quickly while Jennifer was asleep. She's asleep at the moment, she's just waking up now. So, But that's all I did in November. So I am going to call it a day. I'm going to go and get Jennifer some tea, so she's probably hungry. Hi. Hi, baby. I um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of some of these pictures. And uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you soon. Bye.